I'm going to install a Quad Clear Propellers 10 and a quarter by 14 G series propeller. Uh, these are equivalent to the Yamaha G series. And yes, we're going to install a Yamaha propeller on a Mercury engine. And I'll explain here shortly. Got your mercury thrust washer. Slide on your propeller, and you're going to take this washer. So this washer, the way uh, these Yamahas are made, it just needs this washer to take up some slack. That's just that's just the way they're made. So regardless if you have a Yamaha or a Mercury you're going to need this. Typically when you have a Yamaha already and you're just using this to replace the Yamaha propeller, you're typically going to have this on your motor already. But when we put these on Mercury's, um, you need this. So I, I keep these in stock. I'm going to slide that on. Put your lock nut. And this is what it's going to look like when you're done. Now, typical Mercury's, Mercury propellers, are going to have this locking tab. Now, as long as you have a nylock that the nylon is still in good shape, you will be fine not running this locking key. Now, some people want it regardless. You can take this, this locking tab... You could take this locking tab with this washer. You can slide that on there like so. You can make you some marks and drill some holes and, and screw this tab to that washer. Um, or you can just rely on a nylock to keep it on there. Both options work. Now, um, it is a good practice that every time you come out the water, um, you do a walk around, check your motor out, check your boat out, and check tightness of your prop nut. 